Hi folks, Money Rider back. Lots more again to talk about this weekend. Uh, weekend of returns, two certainly yeah. disappoint. Altior off after 287 days. Go on. Yeah, it didn't show, did it? <laughs> it didn't show, did no, it? So, um, you know, let, let's put it into perspective. We knew how good he was or potentially was going to oh, be yeah. um, this year, uh, as you just mentioned. Was it 287 days off the track? So, almost a year off the track. Yeah. Um, and he looks like he's never been away. Now, let's be honest, it was a wind operation. I don't know if anyone did their research, but it was a wind operation that he mm-hmm. had. Yeah. yeah. Very, very common. A lot of horses have it and they always come back nine times out of ten. Oh, yeah. Better. For it mm-hmm. now, he went off the track already, a complete machine. Yeah, absolutely. No, yeah. It wasn't much room for improvement. No, no it's not really like that. It no, wasn't that's much what I'm saying. If you're trying to improve something, then you know Altior's not the one. You leave him alone. But yes. um, it's whatever Needs happened. Mass. You can't say it's done the trick. All you can say is that it's not stopped him. It's not halted his progress. Mm. And again, putting it into perspective, he's beat a horse here, a politologue that's just won a Tingle Creek. Mm. Yeah, albeit a weaker Tingle Creek because Altior mm. wasn't in it. But mm. um, yeah, or still, or to, who uh, are yeah. meant to be running, but obviously yeah. for reasons, yeah, we'll see, but yeah, so I, but think yeah, still, a, no, I, no. I think it was a decent ride from Sam, though. Uh, so yeah, and again, if we're looking at it, he yeah. very much changed tactic because, again, if you watch the race, they said at the beginning, a little log, chances are he'll sit in behind and he'll wait, didn't happen at all, went no. on the front. So, I think what they've done is seen what's in front of them, mm. respected that as you would expect yes. them yeah. to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was again, it was a We'll go off in front if he can catch me. He yeah. can catch me. Yeah, uh, difficult play, so, tactical game. In a yeah, field of course is. Again, the that problem is if you let out your go off, you're not going to reinvent really him. No. So Sam had no choice, and fair play to him and Paul there to dictate the pace, mm-hmm. which they did. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, when it comes to a turn of foot. Yeah. Mitlog isn't known for having bursts of speed anyway. No. Um, Altior has got that about him, but yeah. I mean, he, he carried it all over him in truth. Oh, yeah. it was impressive, and it was good to see as well. We've had a lot of horses that have come back over the last couple of weeks, especially mm. that we spoke about. Yeah. That, not again, not disappointed, but haven't haven't really reached the levels we wanted or hoping that yeah. they would come back to. As much as we knew how good Altior was, 287 days off. Yeah, you, I mean, you never know, do yeah, you? You don't, don't, um, you no, don't know what you you're getting. Sure, no. The question mark was whether he'd need the run with a fitness yeah. to be an issue. But again, um, I don't want to make any, com- you know, I don't want to make any comparisons. Nicky mm. Anderson certainly didn't want to make a comparison with a yeah. sprinter. But we are getting dangerously close to. Mm. We have to, um, mm. and I think yeah. he, is, he is potentially as good, um, or could be as good. So he's still got a lot to prove, but he's yeah. doing everything right. His jumping is phenomenal. Mm. His turn of foot is is just as good. Yeah. Um, and again, it, yes, you know, Saturday he's won. He's down by sort of four lengths. Mm. He could have put more. Oh, yeah. He just didn't. He does a to. job, didn't he? He, he did, did what he had to go out there and do much. And again, we said, well, I said in my article that um, I don't know if you check this on the website. Please do check it out. Um, that we just wanted to see him go round safe yeah. and sound. Yeah. He's yes, done yeah, that. The fact that, yeah. that he's yeah, the fact mm. that he's won is an absolute bonus. Yeah. Um, um, and it's no surprise to see him cut from evens in a four to six now uh, mm. for the Queen Mother Champion chase. Um, and I honestly cannot pick a horse mm. that's going to beat him, especially after that. Mm. It will be difficult to beat him. Yeah. It, it will be very difficult I, to beat you know, him. Know, if you know, I, I, um, I've not seen him run before, as I've mentioned before. Um, and obviously you guys talked him up massive. Yeah. Um, and after that, quite rightly so, really. Mm, mm. Uh, suitably impressed, definitely. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm a fan. A lot of people are fans, mm. so it's not, you know, again, I'll take no credit for mm. picking him as a winner. You know, mm. <laughs> there was no backable price. There's yeah. no tip. It was just a case of, mm. look, let's see him go round. Let's yeah. see him do well. Um, because you want to see horses like that perform. Yeah. And, um, you want the best of children. Yeah. You, you may want to look for odds um, yeah. uh, and aspects of the racing like that mm. but if you're honest mm. you want the best there mm. and you want the best to be of and, and he is the best in, yeah. in it and uh, for that race at the moment as much as i still think min will possibly give him a run i don't think he'll be no. not after watching that return he, there's still probably chinks in his armor because it's yeah. only the one run and it is only four weeks till children yeah i mean has got a bit of momentum mm. but out here i think is he too good yet? Yeah, I mean, again, you've got to look at the, you know, if we're going to make a comparison in terms of Min and then Algier, yeah. you know, quite a few horses turned up to face Min 
Algeo scared away pretty yeah. much everything else yeah. in the chasing field. Yeah. Bark a little log who, you know, again, if he's going to try and beat you, now's the time to do it. Yeah, he's yeah, set himself, yeah. He's set yeah. himself a standard of what to beat now when he goes. Well, if he's going Queen Mother, go, yeah, which, which is what he looks like he's going yeah, to do. He's got all, he knows what against. he's going to have to beat. I think Paul and, and Sam will admit that they've got their mm. work cut out for him. Yeah. Um, and if they were going to beat him, then Saturday would cause the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. But, um, and again, it's we can heap praise all day long, but yeah, he was that good so you know please do go back and watch it if you've yeah, done yeah. So I, I think if you looked at our uh, twitter account you would have seen uh, several uh, tweets on the weekend racing mm -hmm. about i think how we needed that result how we yeah. needed our to come back and perform mm -hmm. um, just to say as i was saying the other week about you know when we hope that he would dominate like he used to mm -hmm. i think racing needs a bit of a bit of good fortune let's mm -hmm. just say there's been a bit of sort of bad luck around there's yeah. been some disappointments and i think um Seeing out to your stop, run, it? yeah, it needs to uh, stop. Yeah, yeah, I think it um, give us a shot in the arm, you know. Mm. Uh, well, no, uh, it did, it, didn't it? So, like two weeks, two reasonably disappointing yeah. weekends of returns that we were yeah. looking at uh, two weeks gone. Yeah, you're kind of hoping for something special. And mm. he, he, yeah, he brought it, didn't it? So. so, also we also had Native River yeah. off for 299 days, uh, making an extremely impressive return as well. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you. Like I've said from the outset. From show one, I mentioned him in show two, uh, I've been waiting for Nate River. Mm. Um, I think there's just something special about the way he performs. Mm. He, he he made those fences look effortless, didn't he? I, really I, mean, I think I'll pick out maybe one fence yeah. where you wouldn't even say he jumped it badly, he no. just wasn't You'll allow him that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, again, yeah. he was a thrills race, so it's mm. difficult to take much from it. Yeah. But again, that's a credit to him. But again, yeah, yeah considering he's been off yeah. for so long, you'd think maybe people would want a chance there on. But they've mm. turned around and thought, oh, God, mm. how good is this? Also, I mean, Welsh Grand National winner last year, mm. um, he was worth his place in the placings in the Gold Cup last year. Mm. And I just think. Like I've said from the outset, mm. he will turn up on the big day. Mm. Uh, I think the run that he put out on Saturday was one of those of intent, mm. uh, if I'm honest with you. Like again, with who he was in the race with, Cloudy Dream, mm. someone who can put it to the most. Yeah, yeah he, he, he puts it to the best of them, and he has done before. Safa and de Safa de Roo. Mm. So again, horses that are capable at their best of putting yeah. in a good performance, and he won it 12, 13 then? Yeah. yeah, he's down in the... I, would, I say he's down, he wasn't, because um, couldn't keep old, old, poor old Dickie Johnson couldn't keep holding oh, yeah. on the brain, to be honest. Yeah. He sort of let it out ever so slightly, and he just sort of bolted for home. I think more importantly as well, we're going into Cheltenham mm. as well, if you look at it, Colin Tizard needs maybe native river. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, feel for, a, I feel for a bit Colin. up and down. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's had an up and down season. Mm. He needs native river. Mm, yeah. um, and let's say going into the festival, he's got one of the big hopes, mm. um, you know, for a gold cup now. Yeah. We, we've spoken about the gold cup on many occasions. Mm. Um, and, you know, we're the first to admit a couple of weeks ago we said Mike Bite is his to lose. Yeah. Mm. I could be changing my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I won't lie, I could be changing mm. my mind after something like that. Yeah, 100%. Um, Jumped superbly, mm. loads in the tank when it came coming over yeah. the last fence, and as I said to you, Dickie actually couldn't keep a hold of him, yeah. he just wanted to go. We actually got a like from Dickie, I don't know if you saw on the Twitter yes, account we after did. we uh, oh, just shared a little treat, uh, congratulations to him mm. and uh, Nate River, so that was very kind of him. Yeah, for Richard Johnson. Mm. Yeah, well like I said, when you've got someone like Richard Johnson sat on a horse like Nate River, mm. um, as much as Mike Byer is a very good horse, mm. and he's probably at the moment due to the fact that Native River's only had one run, mm. probably worth his salt as uh, in favourite. Yeah. At the minute. Yeah, I mean, as say, what you would say is Dickie's the man for the big occasion. Yeah, I was so, going to say, to get a horse down yeah, to, yeah. if it comes down to you've got two horses that are fairly mm. similar in their ability, which potentially those two are, Yeah. Um, and again, that's no disrespect to, to Nico, but no, uh, he's not yeah. got the, the years that uh, the Richard Johnson has. No, absolutely. Could that yeah. be all the difference? He's very, very positive. If you look at a jockey that's been there, done it, seen him mm. on a t shirt, yeah. <laughs> he's your man. He yeah, is, he is, yeah. though. And that's as you say, and, and we know my bike is quirky. Yeah. And he will get punished by a horse like Nate River, who knows his job. We well, both mm. want to leave from the front. You know, well, more you so know he, yeah, and he knows he's got to get round. Interesting matchup. Yeah, yeah, he's got to get round and he's mm. got to do it. And like I say, you were watching from the first show, I know I was talking about it. Yeah. 10 yeah. to 1 is when I got on him, and then that's, I'm not sure what the price of his we'll, now. We'll try and find out, yeah. If I was guessing, I mean, again, you'll have a look, but six is maybe even mm. less than that, to be honest. So, Native River is actually into 11 to 2 now on that one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
not surprised after that, to be honest with you. As I said, Sean mentioned it a couple weeks ago at 10. Yeah. So any Native River fans, which obviously you are, oh, yes. um, might want to jump on that sooner rather than later because I think even 11 or 2 generous. is uh, a little bit generous yeah, at the very moment. Much so. so don't hang about. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on then, boys. Uh, keep it flowing. Um, Bartus Hill, third return of the weekend. Um, 4.65 days off the track this time. Yeah, it showed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, if we're we'll, being we'll, honest, we'll say rustiness. Um, yeah, because he's not a bad horse, is he at all? In no, fairness. no. As I say, attempted to make the running. Um, really, really bad jump at the sixth. Um, the fence, yeah, it stayed up in fairness, but um, yeah, I mean, literally from three out, just started yeah. going backwards, and it was game over from there. But again, I think you can forgive him for saying it was a little bit of. Rustiness, I mean, yeah, yeah four hundred and sixty. Yeah, so a long time. time. Yeah. To come back on that sort of ground as well. I mean, I'm not completely sure his favourite surface, but mm. I'd imagine after that long out, something like that will not help your cause. Yeah, you know? not in great ground. Do you know what I mean? As well. It's not I mean, gonna. You know, let's be truthful. I mean, if I didn't run for four hundred and sixty-five days, <laughs> I'd be able to stand up. Yeah, and anything else. So, I suppose yeah. probably you know the quality of a horse as well. You know, determines his ability to come back. Yes. And how quickly it can come back as well. Again, which mm. is, highlights how strongly uh, Altior and Native River. Yeah. Um, how impressive uh, they how were. How well they've done really this that weekend. Was, yeah. and, you know, I know the, the, the time off the track wasn't as much, but it's mm. still a hefty chunk. Um, it's difficult to pull yourself up. So, yeah, yeah that definitely. does separate the mm. superstars from the um, just the stars, as it were. So, yeah. Yeah. But it, yeah. It was a shame, but, you know, that's, it's, it's not all over for no, him. No, you know, they, off by that. He probably no. won't make a festival, but. It'll progress from there. Yeah, only get better from that one. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, one I'm sure they'll be pleased. It got round and of course. you know, yeah. Bumper, whatever you know. Yeah, especially got off the fence. Wrap him up and uh, yeah, go another day. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, There's always another day. So yeah. um, another good um, race of the weekend. Uh, Klashnikov. Yeah. Um, some run as well. Got to be honest, not one that I was on. Not no. my disappointment, <laughs> but no, um, I'm, I'm, I assume a lot, a lot of people were. Yeah, say, it was Jenkins to lose, wasn't it? it yeah, felt like that's it who, had that's that's who I was with. But yeah, yeah, we I, spoke I, about I, that, didn't yeah. we? We were yeah. messaging and WhatsApping. Um, well, you even mentioned him in one of one of our articles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. Just to say, because again, yeah. we've got a clip of him from when it was at Sandown back on the sixth of January, yeah, which you could find on YouTube. Exactly. Obviously. Um, he was headed that day mm. by Somerville Boy in Old Feelings mm. Ride, and again, yeah. not a lot of people saw that coming. Another superb ride, yeah. otherwise, otherwise Very much he would so. have won that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happened this weekend. Mm. Jenkins, to say, we did touch on purely because he was looking for a three timer. Yeah. Um, He's had an intense run, though, isn't he, Jenkins, to mm. be fair? I mean, that's a third, that, that was his third time out in probably about four or five weeks. I and think, mm. yeah, I mean. The ground's been testing every week, isn't it? It yeah. is. I think Nick yeah. sort of started to so, get a tune out of him because he is such of an enigma. Yeah. Um, you know, if he doesn't want to run, he won't run. Um, which we, guard on which we ha yeah, which Thank we you. have seen. Yeah. Um, he's got a good apprentice on him as well. Um, mm. Young, is it uh, James Bowie? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's only sixteen. Um, who's been doing really well with he's done very well. Hasn't he? So yeah, as I say, he's been doing really well, and I think Nicky just got in some sort of momentum with him and thought well, there's no point in putting him away. All the while he's winning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep it going. Well, you yeah, get yeah, results. Yeah. Yeah, and again, he was he was still doing well. He we just sort of started going backwards, sort of one out, and um, never really got anywhere. But you know, let's say Kalashnikov, the video you can see on our mm. um, on our YouTube yeah. channel, um, absolutely host up. Oh, yeah, yeah. He runs an, an absolutely faultless race. Almost, you're mm. just watching picking people off on the mm. running. Yeah, such a large field. Yeah, I mean, and it looked at half the time. You know, it's yellow we know. Suit yeah, three, I mean, we know Nicky wanted that race. Um, mm. He wanted obviously Jenkins mm. to win, but he also had another four in the field. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a race that you know he holds. He, he wants. He's won a couple of times. He was running for a record, I think, mm. five times. Which exactly. Yeah. Has I done, didn't really so. fancy him that much on ITV's coverage. They didn't, you know, they they didn't think it was no. the right conditions for him. Like I said, I think it's pushing it, wasn't it? There, there's it's been a lot of runs for him mm. of late, and yes, he wanted the free time. It's always nice to get that free time. Yeah. Um, but he always runs in such large fields. Yeah. He was going to come unstuck. Yeah. Uh, and he, he not got found out. Mm. A lot of them got beat by a very well, well run horse. Yeah, I mean, jockey, been... the horse, it all seemed to work. And yeah. on the running, he just, he just went. Yeah. yeah. They, they wasn't catching him, was they? No, so, as I say, with Jenkins, he could have just been, could have just been leggy. As I say, there was no yeah. reason to put him away just yet. No. The form that he'd been in. Yeah. So because he is such of a, 
you know, we, we say enigma, what we basically mean is he's a pain in the backside because if he doesn't want to run, he doesn't run. Yeah. Um, so all the while you're getting a tune out of him, you might as well have left him out there, which he's done. Mm. But um, yeah, to say all fairness to Kalashnikov, Jack Quinlan, who kept the ride as well, mm. and quite a partnership that they're shoring up now as well. Mm. And it meant a lot to him. I mm. mean, that, that, mm. that reaction coming mm. across the line. Oh, yeah. Well, it was, again, it was good to see. You know, you, yeah. want, you want them to do well, and he, mm. he's, he's run that really well. Yeah, because yeah. so, he only got headed by one at Sandown when we were there. Mm. Um, and I think yes. he thought he had that race one as well. But um, as I say, experience in Old just sort of out, out back with him. Um, they all want to win, don't they? And I mean, it's got the CV in it, you know? Oh, of course, of course. And it means a lot. It yeah. means a lot to him. And it was good, again, yeah, very good well. for the young job. Yeah, yeah, very well run race, to be fair. Definitely. Mm. Um, I mean, probably the last word on the weekend really was um, the impressive uh, St. Carvados, really. I was, I was quite mm. impressed with that, I have to admit. Yeah, I mean, he blew that through the way, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wrote himself into the Chelsea. Chose the wrong one again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but easy. North Hill Harvey, I was uh, looking at. But yeah, again, uh, again, I thought myself for that, the Skelton's as well, been mm-hmm. doing really well with that horse as, um, as of late. Uh, but St. Uh, Carvados is now a French horse. Is, um, mm. Got himself an entry for the Arkle. I mean, yeah, a very yeah. good entry. Up there, but yeah, I think he's kind of crashing in, um, in the prices going? because mm. you'd, you'd have probably sent him there anyway. But after that sort of run, he is mm. now six to one with William Hill. <laughs> yeah. Straight six in. to one. Yeah. So now he's up there with Footpad and Petit Mouchoir. Yeah. yeah. Is effectively what they well say. Mine, yeah, yeah, <laughs> not the easiest one. <laughs> again, that one myself. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> but again. He's, he's put himself <laughs> straight up there, isn't he? You know, so. Yeah, absolutely. Justified favouritism at the weekend. Mm. Aidan Coleman um, got one hell of a tune out of him. I think oh, yes, yeah. over 20 lengths he's ended up bolting in by. Ping the um, as well. I mean, yeah, and I think he impressive. needed to do that if he was going to get himself on a road to Cheltenham, yeah. which he has ultimately done. He's got himself an entry for the Arkle. Mm. Um, he needed to win and win well, um, yeah. and he's done that. Um, Again, because he's a French, one of the French riders, mm. isn't he? And that they always come over here, and this money buys them, <laughs> which you know the do fans for Haynes we know they're all mm. French ball and mm. some of them struggle to come over here and make the grade I yeah. feel you know they get talked up mm. uh, because they run a lot of the good races over there a lot of the, the races that the jumps are run over there are quite soft ground so they come over here with this attitude of you know oh, he's been doing it. and then they kind of fail to you know meet the grade yeah so, you see a lot of the French mm, runners especially in their first races as well they've got mm. no justification for being odds on favourite and a lot of the time no. they are but yeah. it's just down to their sheer pedigree mm. yeah um, but um, yeah as I say this one seems to be um, I think a couple of them probably have, have impressed of late you know a couple that have come over mm. yeah like I say they, not everyone no they can, they, few... like, like Neil touched mm. on they do have this uh, the 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 betting seems to favour them when they come over because mm. of the style of racing they're running over there. It almost feels like it should be able to translate quite easily to ours. It's the, it's it's the unknown so most difficult. difficult. Yeah, 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 they yeah, don't yeah. want to put a price on a horse that you know purely because they haven't seen it and yeah. you know don't know what mm. it's all about yet. They can't afford to put it at sort of ten yeah. or twelve to one or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's not worth the risk. Mm. And so it doesn't always work out. But um, as I said, this fella seems to be um, something special. So yeah, yeah. He, had, he had plenty in the tank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he felt, I, Again, because of who he's going up against with the um, foot pad, and I don't think I can't see many people getting close to foot pad. No. But I still do feel he justifies being third favourite. Mm. Get having after an entry, that performance. Having an entry, yeah, if nothing mm. else. Again, we'll yeah. see how he handles the hill uh, and the other competitors. Mm. But I still do feel that that was very much worth. Yeah, you know, very much worth. Right, well, um, I think mean, like I say that that covers off the weekend yeah. quite nice. Yeah, I mean, it's worth mentioning just before we leave that race, it was actually our friend Brian Frost that was back in second. So, mm, yeah. um, well done, Brian, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. For you. Uh, next week, uh, we'll be focusing all our attention on Cheltenham, starting with the first couple of days. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, join us again where we'll be uh, giving the rundown of all the riders and uh, the runners that are going on um, the first few days, and then we'll follow that with a second half the following week. Um, Get in touch again on the usual uh, channels on um, Facebook and YouTube, and, uh, and and don't forget to like and uh, subscribe and then uh, share away. And we'll see you again next time. Lovely. Cheers, Cheers guys. Then. Cheerio.